In this video, I will show you how to filter an image in frequency domain using MATLAB. First, read an image using image read. I'm going to use the entire image as an example. Let's now convert the image into the frequency domain uh, applying fast Fourier transform. Now let's rearrange the frequencies so that the minimum frequency is located in the center of the Fourier transform array. So I'm using fast Fourier transform shift to rearrange Fourier transform coefficients. Now we need to know the dimensions of the image so that we can create a filter of the same dimension. So M represents number of rows and represents number of columns. Now I need to create a mesh grid so I can generate the required filter. To create the low pass filter, I will create the border for the filter, and whatever inside the border next to the low frequencies will be multiplied by one so we can preserve those pixels with the low frequencies. Now, outside the circle, we will make all cells zeros. Circle equation is given by the following formula where x and y represent any pixel coordinate. A and B represent the center of the circle, and R represents the radius. To write the equation in the MATLAB, I'm going to make Z equals to square root of X minus the center square plus Y minus the center in the Y direction square. So my filter is going to be Z less than certain radius. Assuming that the radius is 20, this will generate ones inside the circle, zeros outside the circle. Now let's multiply the filter coefficients by the Fourier transform coefficients of the image. This gives me the filtered image, but in the frequency domain. To take the image back into the spatial domain, we need to apply inverse Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform shift. So the new image in the spatial domain will be as follows. To display the filtered image, I can use IM show. Let me display both the original image and the filtered image using subplot. When you display the filtered image, there are two things that you need to consider. Number one, images are unsigned integer. Number two, we display the magnitude of the image. And here we go. The filtered image is blurred image while the original image is a bit sharp image. Low-pass filters reduce high-frequency components, which are responsible for fine details and noise in an image. As a result, the image appears smoother and less noisy. On the other hand side, the image is flared. Reducing the size or radius of the low-pass filter restricts the range of frequency that can pass through 
consequently leading to degradation in image quality. Thank you for watching.